The next setup menu is General Info. In this menu, you can input general information about your business that will be used on the main screen and the customer's receipt. This general information also contains the three lines of messages that can be printed on the bottom of your customer's receipt. Once you are done, click Submit Changes for the changes to take effect. The next setup menu is Invoice or Receipt Setup. In here you can choose the receipt's font name and size. You can also choose different details that can be included or excluded from the receipts simply by clicking Yes or No on these options. In here you can also choose to decrease the horizontal printing length, also known as a horizontal margin, by a certain percentage, which is useful in a case where your printer's paper settings are causing the printing to go out of the paper's printing limits. The following setup menu is Regional Standards and Settings. In here you can choose to have one or two sales taxes, to which you can give custom names, all according to your local regulations. You can also select the Tax Insertion method in the next option, according to your local regulations. This can be either the insertion of the tax at the end of a sale into the final total price, or the taxes can be included in each item product or service initially. Last but not least, you can select your currency, the currency's decimal places and the language, which you will use in your business.